They say the deadliest diseases are not always caused by what attacks you from outside, but by what grows silently inside your own body. Hidden within every human cell lies a battle between life and death. And in that battle, cancer feeds on one thing more than anything else, your metabolism. Scientists around the world have found something extraordinary. Cancer cells thrive in sugar-rich environments, but when the body switches to a different energy source, those same cells begin to struggle and many of them simply die off on their own. This is not science fiction. It is a biological reality that has stunned researchers for decades, the discovery that your metabolism can decide the fate of a cancer cell. So how does this happen? What kind of metabolic trick can force cancer cells into self-destruction while keeping your healthy cells safe and strong? The answer is hidden in a cellular process so simple that it happens inside you every single day. But almost nobody talks about it. And the best part? You do not need expensive drugs or painful procedures to trigger it. Your body already knows how to do it. It just needs the right signal. In this video, you will discover the real science behind this fascinating connection between metabolism and cancer. You will learn why cancer cells depend heavily on glucose and how cutting off that fuel changes everything. You will understand how switching your body's energy source activates a state that makes your healthy cells stronger and turns the environment around cancer cells toxic to them. We will uncover why this discovery, known as the Warburg effect, is considered one of the most important breakthroughs in cancer metabolism research. But that is not all. We will go deeper into how small lifestyle changes like adjusting meal timing, reducing sugar intake, and supporting mitochondrial health can help your cells shift toward a metabolic state that weakens cancer's grip. You will also find out how top researchers like Otto Warburg and Dr. Thomas Seyfried revealed shocking evidence showing how energy production inside the cell can influence whether a cell turns cancerous or stays healthy. These are facts that most people never hear, even though they could change how we understand the fight against this disease forever. Stay with me till the end of this video because each minute will connect another piece of this puzzle. The final section will show you how to create the same protective internal environment that research suggests makes it hard for cancer cells to survive safely, naturally, and under your body's own control. This is not about fear, it is about knowledge. Knowledge that gives you power over your health. So keep watching till the last second because the smallest details you will hear today might just change the way you look at your body's healing system forever. Welcome to the Health Revival Code, your trusted place for science-backed wellness and natural healing insights. If you want more videos that reveal how your body can protect and repair itself using real medical science, make sure to subscribe now and turn on notifications. Let us begin. Cancer cells are not foreign invaders. They are your own body cells that have lost control, cells that no longer follow the normal rules of growth and rest. Every healthy cell in the body has a clear purpose and a limit. It divides when needed, rests when it should, and dies when its job is done. But cancer cells ignore those signals. They keep dividing endlessly, forming lumps or spreading through tissues where they do not belong. To grow at that insane speed, these damaged cells need energy, and a lot of it. Unlike healthy cells, which can switch between different fuel sources, Cancer cells rely almost entirely on sugar or glucose as their main food. The moment sugar enters your bloodstream, they pull it in greedily to keep multiplying. They depend on it for survival. When sugar levels stay high, it is like feeding fire with dry wood. The flames of cancer grow stronger. Here comes the strange part. Even when plenty of oxygen is available, cancer cells still prefer to burn glucose in a primitive way that produces very little energy. This unusual behavior is known as a Warburg effect, named after the Nobel Prize winning scientist Otto Warburg, who discovered it nearly a century ago. He noticed that cancer cells behave as if they are suffocating even in an oxygen-rich environment. Instead of using oxygen to make energy efficiently, they ferment sugar rapidly, creating acid and waste. It is a messy, inefficient system, but it helps them survive and multiply faster. Scientists now understand that this sugar addiction is not just a side effect of cancer, but one of its greatest weaknesses. When the body's metabolism changes, 
When glucose becomes scarce or when cells begin using fats and ketones for fuel, cancer cells lose their comfort zone. They struggle to adapt because they are built to depend on glucose. Healthy cells, on the other hand, are flexible. They can switch to burning fat, they can enter repair mode, and they can stay strong even when sugar is low. This difference in flexibility is what gives the body an advantage. Changing the metabolic environment means changing the very conditions that cancer cells need to live. In simple words, when you shift your metabolism, you are changing the food supply that cancer depends on. By adjusting how the body produces and uses energy, you can create an internal setting that makes it much harder for cancer cells to thrive. And this is where modern research is pointing to the idea that controlling metabolism may be just as important as targeting the tumor itself. It is not only about destroying cells from the outside, but also about starving them from within. When energy sources are limited and the body's healthy cells adapt, cancer cells face a crisis they cannot escape from. There is a hidden mechanism inside the body that quietly decides which cells survive and which ones die. It is called metabolic switching and it happens when the body moves from burning sugar for energy to burning fat. This shift usually takes place during fasting, low carbohydrate eating, or anytime glucose levels drop and the liver starts producing ketones, small energy molecules made from fat. When this happens, your healthy cells respond calmly, they know how to adapt, they slow down, repair themselves, and begin using ketones as a cleaner, more efficient fuel. But for cancer cells, this switch is devastating. Cancer cells are like spoiled children. They demand one thing only, sugar. Their entire survival system is built around a constant flow of glucose. When that flow stops, they panic. Unlike normal cells, they cannot easily use ketones. Their rigid, damaged mitochondria, the power plants inside the cell, cannot handle this new fuel. So instead of adjusting, cancer cells start to break down. They experience oxidative stress, their DNA becomes unstable, and the internal balance that keeps them alive begins to collapse. Scientists have been studying this process for decades. Otto Warburg was one of the first to describe it, how cancer cells depend on fermentation even when oxygen is available. Later, researchers like Dr. Thomas Seyfried expanded on his work, showing that when the body is pushed into a fasting-like state, many tumors lose their ability to grow. In animal and cellular studies, this metabolic environment, low glucose, high ketones, has been shown to stress cancer cells so severely that they trigger their own self-destruction, a process called apoptosis. This is not a violent external attack, but an internal decision by the cancer cell itself to die. When glucose drops and ketones rise, several changes occur inside the body. Insulin levels fall, inflammation goes down, and cellular repair pathways, such as autophagy, activate. These signals together create an environment where healthy cells thrive and damaged cells, including many cancer types, are pushed toward death. It is a quiet, natural cleansing that supports the body's built-in defense system. This process is not about starving yourself or chasing miracle cures. It is about understanding how the body manages energy and how controlling that energy source can weaken one of cancer's strongest weapons. Fasting, even in mild or intermittent form, sends a clear message to the body, switch fuel, clean house and repair. For cancer cells, that same message becomes a death sentence. While it is not a single cure, this metabolic trick acts like a hidden ally, working silently in the background. It does not fight against your body. It works with it, giving your healthy cells an advantage and making life harder for those that refuse to follow nature's rules. When the body enters a state of metabolic change, an incredible series of adjustments begins deep inside every cell. The most noticeable shift is in insulin levels. Normally, when we eat often or consume sugary foods, insulin stays high to move glucose into cells. But when the body switches to using fat and ketones for energy, insulin levels naturally drop. This drop is not just a number on a test, it is a signal low insulin tells the body to stop storing and start repairing. It calms inflammation, reduces the stress on organs, and gives cells a chance to rest and heal instead of constantly burning fuel. As insulin falls, another quiet process awakens autophagy, the body's built-in repair system. It is like a deep cleaning 
at the cellular level. All damaged parts of cells are broken down and recycled into new components. This keeps the body's systems efficient, resilient, and younger from the inside out. During this phase, unhealthy cells that have been accumulating waste or mutations are cleared away and stronger cells take their place. It is the body's way of removing what no longer serves it and rebuilding what does. At the same time, oxidative stress, the chemical chaos caused by unstable molecules begins to decline. Normally, high sugar levels and constant feeding create an overload of free radicals that damage DNA and proteins. But when the body switches to a more balanced metabolic state that storm settles, the cells experience less damage, the immune system becomes more focused and inflammation throughout the body decreases. This balance allows the inner environment to support recovery rather than destruction. These biological changes are not random. They are part of a pattern that nature designed for survival. When food is scarce, the body becomes more efficient, not weaker. It learns to protect vital organs, repair broken systems, and use energy in the cleanest way possible. The modern lifestyle full of constant eating and sugar spikes interrupts this ancient rhythm. But when we give the body a break, it remembers exactly what to do. The most powerful part of this process is what it means for healing. It shows that your body is not broken or beyond repair. It is intelligent, adaptive, and constantly trying to protect you. All it needs is the right environment, an internal space free from constant sugar, constant stress, and constant overload. When that environment is created, your body does what it was always meant to do, restore balance, eliminate what is harmful, and rebuild what is strong. It is not about fighting your body, it is about trusting its design and giving it a chance to do the work it already knows how to do. Triggering a healthy metabolic shift does not always require major changes or strict diets. It often begins with a few small consistent habits that help the body return to its natural rhythm. One of the most effective ways is through controlled fasting or time-restricted eating. This means allowing the body to spend more hours each day without food so it can switch from burning sugar to burning stored fat. Even a 12 mix to 14 hour fasting window overnight can help lower insulin, reduce sugar cravings and activate cellular repair. When the body is not constantly digesting, it finally has time to restore balance and clear out damaged cells. Another key step is cutting refined sugars and processed carbohydrates. These are the main drivers of unstable blood sugar and insulin spikes that feed inflammation and exhaustion. By reducing foods like white bread, sweets, and soft drinks, the body stops being flooded with quick energy and instead begins to use stored fat more efficiently. Gradually, energy levels become steadier, mental focus improves, and cravings fade. This does not mean giving up all carbs. It means choosing slow, natural sources such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains that nourish without overwhelming your system. Adding healthy fats is just as important. Foods rich in good fats like olive oil, avocados, nuts, seeds, and fatty fish provide a clean source of long-lasting fuel. They help the body stay in a fat-burning state for longer and reduce hunger between meals. Healthy fats also support brain function, hormone balance, and heart health, which are all closely tied to stable metabolism. When fats replace processed carbs, the body begins to adapt naturally, learning to use ketones for energy and creating an internal environment where inflammation stays low. Throughout this process, hydration and stress management play quiet but powerful roles. Dehydration can slow metabolism and make fasting harder, while chronic stress raises cortisol which pushes blood sugar higher and blocks fat burning. Drinking plenty of water, herbal teas, and electrolyte-rich fluids keeps metabolism running smoothly. Practices like deep breathing, short walks, meditation, or simply getting enough sleep help calm the nervous system and keep hormones balanced. A relaxed body always heals better than a tense one. These adjustments may seem small, but together they send a strong message to every cell, conserve, repair, and protect. The body responds quickly when given consistency and rest. Each habit builds on the next, creating a rhythm where energy production becomes cleaner and more efficient. Always talk to your doctor before making any major dietary changes, especially if you have existing health conditions. But remember, even the smallest daily choices can spark powerful internal changes 
and support the body's natural defenses in ways medicine is only beginning to understand. For many people, the word cancer brings a wave of fear, a feeling of helplessness, as if something inside the body has turned against them. But the truth is far more empowering. The human body was never designed to be defenseless. Deep within every cell, every tissue, and every organ, there are systems constantly working to repair, cleanse, and protect. These natural defense mechanisms operate quietly every day, correcting mistakes, destroying damaged cells, and preventing abnormal growth long before disease can take hold. The body is not the enemy, it is the greatest ally you have. When you begin to understand how your metabolism works, that sense of fear slowly transforms into strength. You realize that cancer does not appear overnight. It grows in an environment that either supports or restricts it. And the environment inside your body depends heavily on how you eat, move, rest, and think. You are not powerless to influence those things. Every healthy choice you make sends a signal to your cells about whether to build life or feed disease. That is real control, quiet, powerful, and entirely within reach. When the body shifts into a balanced metabolic state, it naturally limits the conditions cancer needs to survive. Stable blood sugar, lower insulin, and reduced inflammation make it difficult for cancer cells to find the fuel they crave. At the same time, healthy cells grow stronger and more adaptable. They communicate better, repair faster, and resist damage more effectively. You are not just changing your diet or routine, you are changing the inner chemistry that decides how your body responds to stress, damage, and growth. It is important to remember that healing is not always about adding more, sometimes it is about removing what weakens the system. Removing excess sugar, chronic stress, and constant fatigue gives your body the space to recover its natural rhythm. Once that balance returns, your own biology becomes the most effective defense mechanism you have. When you control your metabolism, you control the environment that cancer depends on to live. You turn the tables, shifting from fear to command. Every step toward balance, every fast, every mindful meal, every night of proper rest, strengthens your body's ability to defend itself. This is not about fighting an external enemy. It is about awakening what has been there all along. You are not helpless and your body is not broken. It knows how to fight, how to restore, and how to survive. You simply have to give it the right conditions to do what it was always meant to do. So now you know the power to fight disease does not always come from outside. It begins with the choices you make every single day, with the food you eat, the energy you create, and the balance you build within your body. Every small step toward better metabolism is a step toward strength, protection, and renewal. Do you believe that food can truly fight disease? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear how you see the connection between what you eat and how your body heals. If this video opened your eyes or helped you understand your health in a new way, please give it a like, share it with someone who needs to hear this message, and subscribe to the Health Revival Code for more science-backed health wisdom that empowers you to take control of your body naturally. And always remember, healing starts with understanding your body, not fearing it. Stay strong, stay curious, and keep listening to the intelligence within you.